Good afternoon from Sacred Space at Titania's Realm. The time is 4.27pm on the 5th of September 2024. I'm uploading a YouTube video from, you know, the Peter Beagle last unicorn, the last few chapters of that. And I've decided, I, even though I'm stonkingly tired, to continue on reading my journal entries because then when I'm done, I can go and like crawl into bed or watch some TV or just relax, am I right? It's, um, it's a lot of extra um, yeah, work for me doing two or three videos a day. But oh well, now I've finished reading that book. It'll revert to just my journal entries for the next few weeks till that's completed. And then what will I do with my time? Ooh, maybe go back to making jewellery or learn how to spin wool and, you know, do my weavings again. I'll find something. I'll find something. I'll keep myself occupied. But anyway, it's um, it's been fun. It's been real. It's been awesome. It's been entertaining. And my eyes are swirling in my head because I'm so tired. But anyway, here we go. We'll carry on, babies. And uh, we'll soldier on intrepidly. And, uh, yeah, continue with my tasks that I set for myself. Memories of 5th of September 2024. My health is still poor, but I'm moving through all the other stuff like a golem. Hear no evil, see no evil, just keep moving forwards. So I don't know when I wrote that title, probably a year ago, maybe two years ago. Obviously, if I was still feeling ill, probably two years ago. But um, on we go, onwards and upwards, babies, pushing forwards every day and every way, as I've done every day of my life, to get where, nowhere. But anyway, you never know where I might end up one day. Could be, could be somewhere wonderful. Anyway. What can I say? Here I posted the folio photo is titled Mama's Boy. Oh, I miss my mama's boy. I miss him so fucking much. There he is. He looked good because um, I had the black and white hang handbag that actually Karen gave me. And then I had the black and white slacks and then his black and white fur. And we all kind of, you know blended together in a gorgeous swirl of light and dark yin and yang. Yes, texture and shadow and pattern and what have you. So I, I didn't post anything last year and I haven't posted anything this year either because I've been busy all day with my, you, you know, my uh, Peter Beagle Last Unicorn video and I've got nothing really to say about today you know I just took a little video of the birds being all frottering with Charlie which was delightful so I've also published that but you know never mind today has been a good day the man came to have a look at the steps that need replacing and Rati came to clean so I had um I had interesting interactions with two humans today and uh, oh, Charlie just loves Rati so much. She was twittering happily to her. And oh, it was gorgeous. So it's been a happy day, even though I'm exhausted from my own missions I've set for myself and I'm overdoing it, quite frankly. It is what it is. So it, the, the first bit of journaling dates back to 5th of September 2022, which is two years ago now I wrote hi by regard I took you to the vet for your erection but I still haven't gone near a doctor for my unresolved bronchitis isn't that weird he's watching me cough up a lung with genuine concern he really did look concerned look at this he's like what are you doing mama why are you coughing like that mama you're making me feel sick and uncomfortable Oh, you're always sick, Mama. And, um, yeah, it sucks. It sucks big, hairy dog balls. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I can't believe he's gone. And 
me with all my health issues has outlived my dog. It's a bit bizarre when you think about it. Anyway. I woke up to my internet being down. More wrangling with Optus, but it was easily fixed. I'm still quite sick with my chest and nasal congestion. My left ear is making odd sounds again, you station tube. Yuck. I ordered mulling tea as I've had two recommendations that it will clear up my lungs, which it did remarkably well. Hopefully it will arrive in a few days time. I'm experiencing a lot of anxiety as I ran out of money, but the bills all go out this week. Situation normal. <sighs> but anyway, including my new bill due for my new iPhone. Fuck. I only just paid the last account, so I will be juggling and struggling and it will be another few weeks of financial torture. I still think they haven't got my account right, you know that. I still think there's something wrong. I've just dealt with them through the Ombudsman and something still doesn't feel right, but I'll have to wait and see till they bill me to see if I'm right that they're screwing me over. And if they are, back to the Ombudsman we go. It's just too annoying. I may have to sell my car, as I always say that when I'm feeling histrionic, as I am not able to afford the running costs of that anymore, and yet miraculously always seem to just scrape through, am I right? But then I have come close to selling the car before, and always a miracle happens, and I manage to remain solvent, but I hardly use the car, so the costs are getting extreme. I had a lovely long chat with Nigel this morning. It was a beautiful day, but now, 2.20pm, the weather looks like it is on the turn and we might get rain. The weather is very changeable lately, almost matching the serious traumas and mood swings of the humanoids. Hmm. 5th of September, 2021. Lashana tova tikatevu. Omituha, may you be inscribed for a sweet new year. That means it was Jewish New Year. Not sure when it falls this year. It'll be a month later because we're in Adar too, the, Adar, the leap year. But anyway, um, I should check it out, shouldn't I? Just out of interest since I am Jewish. Need to know when the Jewish New Year is, surely, even if I don't observe it. This is how far I have fallen from my perch, people of Earth. But anyway, May 5,782, which was three years ago, so that makes it 5,785 this year. Bless all humanity with sweetness, with good health, with freedom, with great joy, with abundance and peace. May love find us in our homes, on our path, where we work, where we rest. May love surround us with authenticity and protection. May we all find our unique talents and walk each other home, each holding our sacred tryst with the gods, each holding our own magic and our own piece of the puzzle that connects us to each other to our earth and the cosmos. Much love and blessings from me. Watching the old guard, amazing. I've had another wonderful day meeting a new friend and her beautiful daughter and another friend of hers. We chatted for hours and were gifted with the most gorgeous bright red sunset. Red sky at night, shepherd's delight. I feel soul nourished and protected. Pity that friendship went sour then, isn't it? But I didn't know that then. Even with the astonishing revelation that my dead ex-lover, he of the magnificent penis and two names infamy, was standing behind me and had requested through my beautiful gifted medium friend, to talk with me nicely via meditation. 
that's equivalent to having Satan come down or come up from hell and ask you to shake hands with him and be his friend, by the way. Anyway, I wonder what he might have to say to me that is so important that he traverses dimensions to stalk me. I mean, how do we even know if it was really him? She was so evil herself. She turned out to be a neo-Nazi. She could have been channeling any fucking demonic imp. Am I right? Makes me wonder now. <sighs> You've always got to use discernment, especially when your friends are mediums and psychics, because they can be taken over by the most evil, rotten things. And sometimes they're very clever. You don't notice it for a while. Just say. Anyway. I believe my new friend truly saw him as she described him accurately and in recent weeks Beauregard has been running to the front door and barking which is how that man manifested his most unwelcome spirit by banging on my front door back in June 2016 for four consecutive nights after he had died sometime in May which I later found out he died on the 22nd of May, 2016. So, you know, roughly three weeks later, he's hammering down, my, running up my steps like a fully manifested grown, grown up man, 3D man. I could hear the boots running up the steps and hammering on my door. It was beyond bizarre. Be I still don't know what that was about, really. It's not like I was ever going to forgive the motherfucker. So I don't know what he hoped to achieve by that. And then he's hounding me down at, when I visit friends who happen to be mediums. And what really ground my gears is I did not go to her for a reading. I made a point of not asking for a reading, reading because I thought it was a boundary violation because she was a professional, you know, psychic reader doing readings for people. And I'd gone to see her for a social occasion. And um, I didn't have money to pay for a reading was the other reason I didn't ask and I wasn't going to ask her because I didn't really know her that well and if I, if I was going to get a reading I probably would have got it a bit later on down the track but no he jumped in on her he 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 invaded her boundaries she starts telling me this bloke standing behind me and describing I said he's not he's not allowed here turn I said get away from here you cunt she said, you can't speak to him like that. I said, I can speak to him however I like, given the history that I had experience with him. Oh, but he's a spirit now, so I don't care who he is. He doesn't get to invade my boundaries, dead or alive. She was shocked. She was genuinely shocked. She said, he says you need to talk to him nicely. I said, I don't owe him anything. I owe him nothing after what he put me and my children through and what he ultimately cost us. I don't owe him the scrap of my fingernail for the rest of eternity and yet he still floats through occasionally i don't know what that's about it's odd it's really odd but anyway bear that as it may she described him accurately right down to how he smokes the cigarettes i said he's not welcome i didn't ask you to open up to him it's actually not appropriate I don't want to communicate with that entity. It wasn't a nice person in life. It sure as shit won't be a nice person in death either. Do not... I think she was curious. I think she was dying to open up to him, find out all about him. But, you know, not appropriate. Not appropriate. If I were her client and I was paying, it wouldn't have been appropriate then either. It's like, if the client says... No, I don't want to communicate with that spirit or that entity. The client, being the living person, has the right of veto, by the way. Just say. <sighs> anyway, these people, boundary violators. Boundary violators. Tonight when I got home, Bobo ran to the door yet again, which made me think he really had been you know, there at her place when she saw him because Bobo was acting as if he was visiting the home, which was freaky as shit, actually. I threw the door open. No one there. Hmm. Mystery solved. We now know who was trying to gain entry to my sacred space and communicate with me. 
My medium friend says he has served as a protector of sorts, which has me intrigued as he did nothing but behave sadistically and evilly towards me in life. The only thing he did right by me was insisting I went off all my psych meds when I met him in 1998 and in May 2016. I had felt suddenly inspired after 15 years of drooling, shuffling, medicated to my eyeballs to wean off all my psych meds and my psychiatrist was worried for me. But I made a determination to reclaim my mind, body and or spirit or what was left of it. Here's the freaky thing. I decided of my own free will to do that at the same time as he would have been dying. So there was some kind of weird kind of telepathic link between him and I because he was he had said years before you you shouldn't be on site meds they're not good for you Tanya they're not going to do shit for you which they never did actually he was right about that in his capacity as a homeopath how he knew that I don't know though maybe he had his own history with psych meds I mean his man was a raging oh, well he was just dangerous a very dangerous psychopath but anyway we carry on. The confluence of events when I finally took my last antidepressant on the 3rd of June 2016. Then that man's ghost unexpectedly and very alarmingly haunted, haunting. Oh, sorry, hang on, let me read that again. And then that man's ghost's unexpected and very alarming haunting seemed to me to be a validation sorts, Davidson Devo had never approved of my existing on psych meds and perhaps his car had a K-A car as in spirit, had indeed reached out to me somehow as he was dying or close to death to instruct me to reclaim me. Or perhaps it was just a mere coincidence but there are truly no accidents in the multiverses. I am living proof that the proof that the Eternal One gifted me with survival against so many odds and variables that were and still are beyond mortal ken. That even that particular enemy had tried to ameliorate some of his actions against me, and that in truth, energy is energy and truest, deepest love is eternal. Will I concede to communicate with him? Not sure yet. I have trust issues beyond this dimension. But he showed up this afternoon, and he has been around a lot lately. Or at least Beauregard has been seeing and or hearing him. I pray for much needed Peace, shalom, in all dimensions, for all blockages and or saboteurs and trickster spirits to be cleared, cleansed and cast out, so I may at long last merit the love that is worthy of my heart and soul, that cherishes me, chooses me, respects me. Even Davidson could not completely break me. I still hold out hope for a good, kind man to enter my life and treat me with kindness and honour. What year was that? I can't remember. 2021, by the gods. I've got chills. It's just taken so long, so long. What can I say? Happy Father's Day to all the good and worthy fathers in the world. May you raise children who are decent, honourable, brave and kind. Keep them organic. Keep them safe. Love them in respectful and protective ways. Don't let them be poisoned by other people's hate. Hold true. Yep, pretty much. 
I posted an article about adverse reactions, which one of them, this one was about myocarditis, which was fucking alarming people of Earth. Absolutely alarming. And I wrote, My 91-year-old neighbour is suffering swollen legs and feet, feeling weak and light-headed. Cold, clammy and numb feet. Yesterday she said her left foot felt paralysed. I suspect her heart. She has had her second and was rather robust apart from arthritis prior to this. I am deeply worried about her. Anyway, she died on the 2nd of April 2024. So, two and a half years later. Fifth of September, two thousand and twenty. At Megan, my cousin Megan, your fairy is almost finished. I just have to sew on the butterflies on his or her pants, then to press start on the back of the pants, then wire up his wings, his or her wings, and attach them. It's rather cute. <clears throat> Fifth of September two thousand nineteen, one eleven AM. Make a wish. Mrs. Robertson often gave me these during my childhood. Her home was a sanctuary for me from my mad bad, perverted, violent, narcopathic, meaning narcissistic, psychopathic family. They were disgusting, all of them. They really were. A wonderful, kind, loving mother. Have to get your mummies where you can when you grew up like I did, babies. <laughs> those were my favourites, so she used to often give me those. She was very sweet. She was a very sweet, nurturing mummy. Oh, she was. I miss her. I miss her to this day. Still in 2019. Photos of me with the bow. A wonderful Beauregard. For once being obliging to have his photo taken. Oh, I love that one. Oh, he's such a sweet boy. Kellyanne wrote, One possessive paw placed on de mama. He let me take a few selfies of us. He must have been feeling mellow, as he always hates when I take photos of him. And here's that one, the title folio. Mama's boy. Such a fucking awesome dog, he really was. Bella was a wonderful dog too. We used to call her the doggiest goddess. Oh, she was gorgeous. They were all gorgeous. I loved them all. It's the bottom half of that photo you can see is. It's just sprawled out across his mama. Loving his mama too. Watching Green Frontier about the Amazon Amazon jungle and her people. Powerful. 5th of September 2018. I need to find a shaman who is authentic and not out to charge like a wounded bull as I need to heal my gallbladder. Surgery has been requested by my GP but will take six months or more. I am not in pain but... Suffering extreme fatigue. Can anyone on my friends list recommend someone, please? Thanks in advance. Well, the surgery happened about nine months later. My friend Sheila Snow wrote, yes, I can love. And Sally wrote, I know someone but don't know what she charges. Will PMU 
And I replied, thanks, Sally. My friend Sheila Snow sent me healing many times over the years. She is a bona fide shaman. She's a wonderful woman. Love you, Sheila. <coughs> Cheerful spirit from Pal Talk. 5th of September 2017. Can't sleep. Had to take a Nizac for bad acid ref reflux. Had a drink of water. My skin is itchy. I went to bed at 10.30ish. Slept for about an hour. Then belched myself into bilious consciousness. Not cool. Oh well, there's always a chance I might fall asleep again in the next few hours. Jared and I watched Winona Earp. Good show. Bobo had a namesake in the show, so we teased him greatly while he snuggled up to Jared to make Harvey jealous. Both dogs were very cute tonight. Poor Bobo. He used to love to make Harvey jealous, though. Compete for our attention. Miss Five, that's me, has been a very bad girl. She had a craving for caramels or better yet chocolate, but had none in the house. Uh-oh. Her 52-year-old back hurt, so she couldn't be bothered jumping in the car, chasing illicit lollies. Well, they're not really illicit, but, you know. Miss Five, when she's on one of those rampages. I've been eating lollies all day today. I'm going to be violently ill tomorrow. I will pay. I don't have a gallbladder to, to process all the sugar and there's no bile. I'm going to be sick as a dog tomorrow. Oh, God. Why do I even do that? It's Miss Five. It's Miss Five does it. It's not me. I'm, I'm serious about that. Sometimes I go back away from the lollies, kid. And um, sometimes I win, but most times I don't. She gets what her, what she wants. Luckily, she's not in charge of my sexuality or I'd be dangerous by the gods. So she made her own from a recipe she had collected when her children were in preschool. That's how old that recipe was. Russian caramel. Awesome. Moral of the story. <laughs> Uh oh. Number one, Miss Five always gets what she wants, even if she has to manufacture it herself, like happiness, which comes from within. Number two, Ms. 52 is a hoarder, but this year has finally actually utilised a few items from her decades old collections, like this recipe. Ha! So it's not hoarding if you use stuff. Number three. Bad girls can actually be good girls if they want to, but why risk it? Number four. I forgot what four is, but it could involve a sugar high when the caramel sets. I have licked the spoon and the lees out of the pot. Number five. I have not cooked an actual dinner, but I have caramel. Ms. 52 did go to the charity today and was gifted some nice vegetables. So I could have cooked up a stir fry or something, but after sitting for a few hours, waiting for the food truck, chewing the fat with the other schnorrers, watching them fuss over Bobo, I was too exhausted to cook adult food, as in a margin of disassociation, which probably prompted the lolly craving. See how honest I am, even with myself, about my mental health issues? So like I don't pull the wall over my own eyes, so why would anyone else try and do that to me, am I right? Not cool, not cool, not cool. But I'm very, I'm very, um, I'm brutally honest even with myself. Sometimes I think, wouldn't it be good if you could just live in fairyland, like actual bullshit denial land and just, just obliterate all reality and fuck, that'd be so cool. But I don't want to be that kind of a person. I really don't. I like my reality too much. You know, well, I like to, you know, 
I don't like my reality that much. I think this could be a hell of a lot better. But you know what I mean. I like to, I like to stand on my own authority and my own authenticity. The charity people gave Bobo a tin of pedigree, but although I thanked them graciously, it has a swollen lid, which is a precursor of possible food poisoning. Never eat from rusted or swollen aluminium cans. So I was a tad bemused at their thoughtful but potentially deadly gift to my dog. Went straight in the bin. I wasn't going to give that to my dog. My dog doesn't deserve to be poisoned. Watching Winona Earp is very trippy. It has several main characters that could have been plagiarised from my real life. Bobo Del Rey, a serious demon mofo who lives in a motor van, triggering memories of my dead dad. Every time they say his name, Bobo and I just look at each other. A handsome black cop who looks like a former lover from 2001, except he was skinny and the actor had a great buff body. Another character that looks and behaves like my ex-boyfriend Courtney. Some demons that look just like his cruddy, drugged up scumbag friends. A red-headed lesbian that reminds me of my former friend who was a dominatrix. Man, no wonder I need lollies. Probably fucking needed really Valium after all that. Being all that triggering in one go and one my movie or TV show or whatever it was. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 5th of September 2016. Today has been lovely and productive. I sanded back my pine dining table, then sanded back a wooden shelf that I kept on my potting table. Stupidly, I worked in the sunshine, so have an epic sunburn but I'm happy as a piglet in mud with my labours. Jared arrived with Harvey and I had just finished clearing away everything, but I was covered from head to toe in fine sawdust and lead paint from the ancient shelf. So I had a quick shower, then dressed. Then we went to Bunnings so I could buy the paint to do my table. Now we are driving to Feast, in Springwood Tavern, which Jared says is like Sizzler, but has lots of gluten-free options. Yay! We are playing awesome music on Spotify in the car and feel like we are wild and free and cruising like teenagers. Oh, that was a lovely time I had with my friend that day. Oh, Jared, do you remember when you used to have lovely times with me? Yeah, no. I've had... <laughs> I'm sure he does. I've had a lovely time this past week. That's called doing a bit of Yiddish and Mama guilt trip because he's not taking my calls again and I'm broikus with him. Anyway, I've had a lovely time this past week reconnecting with an old friend, dancing all weekend at the casino and today's happiness. I wonder who the old friend I reconnected with was. Can't be anything romantic. But as Rat Hashem, by the will of God, there will be lots more epic goodness still coming. I'm going to paint my old wooden chairs in metallic paint, which will look nice when I finish decoupaging the table. I didn't bother. I put them in the curbside collection in the end. They were all old and ugly and... They were from my mother and they were triggering me, looking at that crap and constant reminders of her. They had to go. 5th of September 2015. I had a wonderful afternoon at the Royal Mail Goodner, rocked out to Transvaal Diamond Syndicate and another great band. I got there at 4pm, so missed the first set. I really enjoyed myself, but boy, am I exhausted now. I am so glad I went out, though. It was awesome. I need to put that in my Confessions of a Dancing Queen book, mustn't I? Because that's 
dancing and it's a different band than I normally follow so yes I'll have to remember to do that later um, here we have when a woman has an opinion parody it's a woman at a doctor's office don't know what that's about now nods cats lots and lots of cats and chickens and goldfish they don't ask me back unless you count the glob globs and the tail slapping which means fuck you or each other i love my goldfish i've only got two left now 5th of september oh look at this oh he's gone he was i could hear the whistling the twittering it was a power-headed Roselle and he was actually singing to me. Oh, how lovely. I'm um, sorry, 5th of September 2014. I've been in the garden all evening. I potted up some flower seedlings and put sphagnum moss around pots for mulch. It all looks lovely. In a few weeks, the flowers will come out. I need more sphagnum. Expensive stuff, but worth it with warmer weather coming on. Karen is on her way to my place, so we'll be going out to the Elephant Hotel tonight. 2014, so 10 years ago. Frida laid her first egg since hatching mischief. So cute. Oh, bless. What my little babies used to do. She was a little little tiny silky so there would have been tiny little eggs what's today thursday <sighs> oh yes here's a comparison you're gonna have the rest of the photo to compare don't you there yeah, tiny little ones frida's and the bigger girls ones are the normal full-sized egg. Three fifteen p.m. Awakened, aware outside in the remains of the day, watching my chooks roaming around the garden. Lovely, mischief and Frida let me cuddle them last night, as they still go to the old coop to sleep, and I have to carry them over to Tabs and Elvira's coop. They both snuggled into my chest, tired and scared, but loving my body heat. A moment of happiness, given that Frida and her baby are quite wild. They, will, they still keep a, a huge distance from the other girls, not integrated into the flock or pecking order yet. An idyllic, peaceful country scene betrays the lie, lol. Elvira just ran across the yard to attack Frida and she ran off in alarm. They seem to ignore little mischief, who I suspect is a rooster in the making and will be whooping their asses soon in more ways than one, darlings. Oi, a boy. Had to relinquish so much. I was bloody devastated about. I gave my boarder notice tonight. Mm-hmm. I never took anyone in again here. It was just too stressful. Awful it was. 5th of September 2013. Woke up at 4pm, still feeling sick and weak. Regardless, I went out to spend time in the last of the afternoon sun, cleaned the chicken tractor, gave them new straw for their nest and spread their poo on the compost. I left the hose on a few parts of the back garden while I cleaned out the third pond and located it at the back. Haven't filled it yet as I had to redo the waterproof weld on the drain hole so it needs to cure. I am delighted with the new pond, have yet to take a photo for Facebook. It looks lovely. I moved the bathtub pond to the front of the house <coughs> and the square tub that was in front of the house to the back. The new big spa bath is at the rear of the house. Now all I need is to buy two more pumps and filters. 
I think I will need a solar one for the back one in the back garden as no power points. I would definitely be able to get a pump for the front. What year was that? 2013. So yeah, then six years later, housing made me get rid of them, the vicious bastards. They'd been there all that time, didn't bother anyone. So I still think it was someone malicious that lived across the road from me. I really do. It was just awful, just beyond awful. 5th of September 2012, I cooked a lovely roast chicken tonight, Cajun spices, butter, garlic, stuffed with stale bread, lemon, passion fruit, cranberries, garlic, I mentioned garlic, oh my god it was delicious, I can't eat garlic or onions anymore, I'm allergic to them, it's terrible. I'd been in the garden since 2pm and had been so exhausted but I worked through the fatigue threshold and was glad I cooked a nice dinner. Tomorrow is payday. Freedom, excitement and frivolity has begun. Pity I am so damn exhausted, but I will invoke my stamina again and resurge into the wildness of the casino and or Irish Murphy's dance floors this weekend. Woohoo. By that I meant it was settlement day. Finally, after two and a half years of suffering like an animal over those dirty fucking bastards. Dear Goddess. 5th of September 2011. Don't you hate it when you binge on all the chocolate and lollies and have no money to go out and replace them. I think I have the sugar DTs. I'll have the feckin' sugar DTs tomorrow, darlings. I ate too much today. Naughty. I guess I'll have to make another plate of poffitures with ma maple syrup. Good, but not as good as instant gratification of chocolate or lollies. It's like major addiction, my sugar addiction. I was better for a while, but I seem to have relapsed. I don't know what that's about. It's not good. Oh, well, the, the, the answer to that is I won't be buying any more strawberry raspberry, I mean raspberry chocolate sticks from Golden Circle because I've had no will, willpower at all. I've eaten nearly all of them. I only bought them three or four days ago. It's just outrageous. Learn, if you could take me to Golden Circle, if I asked you to take me there and say I want those, tell me no. Someone has to stop me by, by all the gods. Also, I'll never get slim at this rate, will I? It's outrageous. Self-sabotage of the worst degree. I've wormweed most of the garden in the early night, in, in the early night, cool air that should say early cool night year shouldn't it oh you know who cares feel tired but refreshed yeah early cool night air i just put in the early night comma cool air see how tired i was i my grandma went out the window i didn't give a fuck you can tell when i'm tired how i write sometimes <laughs> Feel tired but refreshed. Gail and Talia came to visit and we had a walk in the forest with Miss Bella Rosa who was happy to get another walkie so soon after yesterday. I've done a few loads of washing and looking forward to just chilling last night. I've copied loads of my CDs onto my iPhone 4 so that is exciting. How do you do that? Don't even know how I did that now. Oh well. 5th of September 2010, feeling slightly better today, only one more day of prednisone left though, oh dear god that would mean it would have gone bonkers, so I have to take things slowly I guess, prednisone and me, by the gods, drizzly rainy day here, I was hoping for better weather so I could spray paint my chairs, Delays, delays by nature, 
annoying. I gave Bella Rosa a bath though and dried her and kept her inside. She was getting a bit stinky. Oh, well, there wasn't any profound writings in today's journaling, but, you know, still, still kind of interesting. And the photo of Beauregard and the chickens is very sweet. The, um, the eggs was very sweet. So anyway, fortunately, it's a short one today since I'm completely exhausted anyway. So bye for now. I'll be back tomorrow with tomorrow's journal entries and um, have a wonderful evening. It's now 5.12pm Brisbane time. So wherever you are, <laughs> live your best life. Be kind and never, ever let the bastards grind you down. Bye from Sacred Space.